is something fishy going on. Maybe, maybe not, but either way, be cautious at the seafood counter. That's the message, at least from UNC researchers who tested shark meat being sold at stores in North Carolina and other areas along the coast. Yeah, they found that consumers may truly not know what's on their plate. CBS 17 investigative reporter Mary Smith is digging deeper into the study tonight. The samples were collected from September 2021 to September 2022. It says many of them were ambiguously labeled just as shark meat, and some samples contained meat from critically endangered species, which is illegal to sell here in the U.S. What's exactly on your plate? It's an answer researchers and students at UNC hope to find out while working on a newly released study about shark meat sold in stores and online. So we basically see if the stores that are selling this meat are ac accurately labeling their products. Dr. Savannah Ryburn authored the study alongside others. They collected 29 samples from September 2021 to September 2022 from grocery stores, markets and online sellers. Most shark meat products were purchased in North Carolina, but some came from Georgia, Florida, and Washington, D.C. We found 11 different species of sharks just in our 29 samples, and we found three in critically endangered species, which is pretty concerning for the small, limited sample size. According to the FDA, under the Endangered Species Act, anyone in the U.S. is prohibited from selling or offering to sell endangered species. Also, we found two different species of large hammer head sharks, um, which are recommended to never be consumed by humans because of their high level of mercury. The study went on to say, quote, overall, we found a high level of ambiguous and incorrect shark product labeling and evidence of IUCN listed endangered species in the U.S. food supply. The FDA releases guidelines or recommendations for seafood labeling. When searching shark on the FDA's seafood list, updated August 2025, dozens of shark species come up with acceptable market name listed as shark. Some other acceptable market names come up as hammerhead, dogfish, or others, but guidelines say the majority can be labeled as shark. Ryburn says she would like sellers to be required to label their meat more specifically. It's really important because this takes away the consumer's choice on what they're actually putting in their body. Um, because there's hundreds of species of sharks and you don't know if you're eating something that's very dangerous to your body or if it's okay to be eating this on occasion. CBS 17 investigates reached out to the FDA to ask if it's considering any changes to how it recommends shark meat is labeled for consumers. A representative referred us to the North Carolina Department of Health and Human Services. We reached out to NCDHHS who referred us to the North Carolina Agriculture Food and Drug Protection Division, which said it has no current investigations for species misidentification. It also said food operations that sell, process, or repackage seafood products are subject to inspection by the agency to, quote, assess compliance with federal and state food safety regulations. Their statement continued to say, identifying the seafood species is an important component of labeling, and while our laboratory does not have the DNA testing capability to identify species, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration has performed this type of testing. We work closely with the FDA and can respond if an issue is identified. And for a link to the full report from UNC, head to CBS17.com. Mary Smith, CBS17 News.